Hey, it's Bobby G, Bobby at Gloss. And I wanna ask you, do you think the fickle finger of fate might be the reason we're suffering this pandemic? Well, I am doing a special request today to talk about Tab Hunter for Christian. Christian had said, hey, do a little story on Tab Hunter. So I'm gonna talk about when I met Tab Hunter on November 1st of 2005 for a book signing of this book and the showing of the documentary Tab Hunter Confidential. Tab Hunter was an awesome dude. He was a big movie star in the 50s and early 60s. And um, when I met him, he was an elderly man, um, but he was still really, really handsome. But the most notable thing about him was that he was so humble and shy and so incredibly polite. Now, for those of you who have read his book, you know that um, he was put out by Confidential Magazine in the 50s. There's a little picture of him and his buddy Roddy McDowell, which kind of added fuel to the fire. But um, his studio actually patted it down and kept him out of the tabloids. Um, also, he had a very close relationship with Anthony Tony Perkins from Psycho. And I love this picture. Here's Tony's autograph. This picture of the two of them. It says so much about what's going on. What's cut out of this picture is the females on either side. And if you look closely, doesn't it look like Anthony might be slipping the photographer the finger? <laughs> I don't think that he wanted that picture to be taken. And Tab looks like he's trying to get a serious point across. Additionally, I have this random photo because I have no idea what they starred in together. John Bromfield, Kareem Calvay's ex-husband, and Tab Hunter together. It looks like this is from the set of Revenge of the Creature or something like that, but hey, all I can say is Tab Hunter was a wonderful guy. I've got a lot of great stuff signed by him. And if you haven't heard or seen his song, Young Love, it's not on this album, you have to check it out. It's so good, it was like a number one song. And this is Warner Brothers Records. Do you know why Warner Brothers Records was created? For Tab because Jack Warner, the boss of his studio, knew that Tab could sing, and he created Warner Brothers Records for Tab Hunter. So there you go. If you haven't seen Tab Hunter Confidential, the documentary, or read the book, I sincerely advise you to check it out. Anybody else got a special request, let me know. Until then, this is Bobby G saying, stay safe.